three bomber hours below the Arctic Circle, a northern station of the Royal Air Force Coastal Command, remote and lonely. Just a routine departure, which may bring a great adventure. I think they first came here in 1938, the first on North. I can remember as a wee boy going down the pier in Stranor uh, with some of my pals and he's watching these flying boats coming in to anchor in Lachlan. This was a regular stopping point in the military exercises that they held between the wars in the 1930s particularly. We got a lot of aircraft flying in and using Lachlan as an overnight stop and then they would take part in the Atlantic trials as they called it. A thousand miles out into the Atlantic Aerial guardians of the convoy routes, searching out enemy U-boats, planes, and surface raiders. That probably sunk in a gale. Most of them did, in actual fact. In the early mm. days of Wigby, they had a lot of these aircraft, and this is what happened with most of them very high wind and the next day you came and it was gone and that's it pulled ashore in front of northwest castle in Stranraer prior to dragging the hulk away it had a very short lifespan because the Sunderlands uh, took over completely they were far far better aircraft <laughs> Beautiful aircraft, tremendous size. I have seen other photographs of buses creeping below. This was because they had to use the main road to, to get the Sunderlands in and out of the water at Wig Bay and up to the, the, the big hangar. And this became quite a popular thing to stop and, and people take photographs of this. People were given a, a, an airman to look after and you would maybe have two in your family and some family would look after three of them. They were all over the place, they took over empty houses. There was a lot of empty houses at that time because the council had been building a huge housing complex at Dix Hill. Uh, even as a child I was vaguely aware these RAF guys were shoved into houses which should have been pulled down. We were all fascinated because the crews came ashore. We could remember this occasion when all these cadets had turned up. Yeah, shove them on board, I'll take them all. And as I say, I can remember clearly looking down on the Isle of Man and then across to the English coastline and then back up to land again in Lachroyan. It was, it was great times for the boys in the ATC. You brought it back to my mind particularly when you talked about it revving up and roaring through the water. And all of a sudden, the sound disappeared. The hull had left the water. Thank you. 